We're here at week three with your South Carolina Gamecocks dynasty. Week two was a strong matchup within top ten teams of South Carolina pushing it through against SEC opponent Georgia. This week we go back to Williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina to take on the one and one Vanderbilt Commodores. So before we get into a match, let's look at the top players as well as the stats on the season so far for each team. Vanderbilt coming in with a weak offense, 115th in the nation, scoring 13 points total. 119th total yards, 251 with 113th and 136 passing yards. Their defense holds up to middle to holding up fairly in the defensive columns. With 210 given up in passing yards and 166 rushing yards given up. South Carolina looks to be at the mid to top tier with 76 rushing and 250 passing. Let's take a look at the Vanderbilt top players with Jordan Matthews. Six receptions so far in the season, 129 yards and one touchdown. Ladler with five tackles, one for a loss and one interception. And Morse coming up with five total tackles in the season. Now it's time to take a look at your South Carolina Gamecocks top players with Jadavion Clowning, five tackles, three for a loss, and two sacks, preseason All-American, and Patrick given two pancakes on the year, no sacks allowed so far. So let's take a look at both sidelines as they prepare for this SEC conference play in the William Bryce Stadium in a nice afternoon game in Columbia, South Carolina. Let's take a look at the SEC standings for the East Division. Number four, South Carolina stands on top of the conference, 1-0 in conference play, 2-0 overall, where they beat the 1-1 Georgia team for 0-1 conference play, and Vanderbilt down 0-1 in conference play as well. And let's get ready to kick off the game from William Bryce Stadium, Columbia, South Carolina, Week 3 starts ahead in 2nd and 7 with the Gamecocks taking offense first. The option play, Shaw keeps the ball and runs right past the defender. Shaw gets enough for 12 yards and a first down. Pistol formation here. Shaw doesn't like what he sees, calls it audible. The play action, play action the Wilds. Shaw drops back, rolls to his right and hits Jones coming across for a 10 yard gain. First down. First and ten, strong eye formation left side. Shaw with the hand off the Wilds. Wilds gets a block, breaks off a tackle, or a hard run for three yards. Second and seven. Shotgun formation, Wilds offsets to the left. Shaw drops back, throw, throws right to Ellington. Bruce Ellington with the reception and a first down, gain of 13. Ace formation, wide receiver in tight on the right side. Shaw drops back to throw, throws over the middle, hits Ellington. Ellington wide open for a 23-yard gain. I formation. Shaw, first and goal. Shaw with the play action, rolls to his right, throws to his right, and intercepted in the end zone. Herring with the touchback. First possession, gets no points with the interception from Shaw. First and 10, Robinette sets up for the shotgun pass. And sack for 8 yards, Quarles in for a sack. 3rd and 18, ace formation. Nickelback coverage. Robinette drops back, throws over to his left, cross with the reception, and cross gets 22 yards and a first down. 5 wide set for Robinette. 2nd and 10, Robinette drops back, throws over the middle, hits Grady coming right across the middle for a 17-yard reception, first down. Tate offsets to the right. Robinette drops back from shotgun. Hits Matthews. Matthews, the playmaker, gives a stiff arm in a first down. Five wide set. Shotgun formation. Robinette throws over to the left and is caught by Cunningham for an eight-yard reception. Tropes right. Shotgun formation. Robinette with the handoff to Tate. Take, take down hard in the backfield. Third and seven. Tropes right again. Robinette with the play action and hit show over the middle for a first down excuse me shoe second and 12 Robinette with the read option Robinette goes up and taking out hard 
after a gain of five. Third and six. Again with shotgun formation over to the left side. Crosses guy blocking into the end zone for a touchdown. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt takes that early lead and gives South Carolina's offense back on the field. Second and five. Shaw doesn't like what he sees. Calling some play or calling some hot routes. Shaw drops back to throw. Over the middle to Ellington. Ellington, another good reception for 20 yards. That puts him up over 60 yards in the first quarter. Shaw drops back to throw in the last play of the first quarter. And he's going to be sacked for a loss of 15. And at the start of the second quarter, Vanderbilt takes the ball. Robin and drops back to throw. Throws over to the right. And intercepted by K1 Lewis. Lewis just jumps in front of the receiver and takes the ball down, giving South Carolina's offense the ball back. Play action for Shaw. Shaw rolls right and throws to Anderson. Anderson is tough enough to pull forward for the first down. Shaw not liking what he sees. Calls the audible. Play action. Shaw draws back. Throws over to the right side and gets Ellington who just is before the defender and Shaw throws behind him for the reception. First and ten, strong eye formation. Wiles gets the ball and he's got it open and touchdown! South Carolina Gamecocks. Let's take another look at this. As you see, Sally, the fullback, is going to get a great block on the only person able to touch him. Look at the free safety come down. Sally gets the block and Wiles is able to walk in if he wanted. Split back formation, first and ten. Robinette with the play action, triple option, excuse me. Tate with the pitch. Clowney misses him. Tate's got some wide open field. Looks like no one's going to catch him. 78 yards for Tate. What a well-ran triple option. Defense guys clamped down on that, though. So with the kickoff, Ellington takes it back. From the 10-yard line, Ellington's got some room. Ellington breaks some free on the sideline. It's just a foot race now. And Ellington's going to be forced out of bounds after an 80-yard return. Great field position by Bruce Ellington. Triple option. Shaw keeps it. And Shaw's going to get four yards on the run. Second and six. Shaw drops back. Throws to the right side for Ellington. And Ellington completes the score he began the field position good job on the kick return and he's gonna finish it with the reception for a touchdown so on second and seven ace formation tight end on the right Robinette drops back throws over to the left hits Kraus Kraus is breaking through a tackle and gets nine yards forced out of bounds first and ten bunch set right tight end in motion Robinette drops back Throws over to the left, excuse me, and Matthews just pushes down defender, gets a block, finally taken down after a 27-yard reception. Weak eye formation. Tate with the handoff, and Clowney just comes in and dominates the line of scrimmage. No yards gain. Third and nine. Robinette drops back with a five wide and hits Grady coming across, but taken down. So on fourth and four, Vanderbilt elects to kick the field goal for the lead and it's going to go up and in for a three point lead over South Carolina as you see here these are the total yards by the quarter again Shaw not liking what he sees pistol formation drops back to throw throws over the middle Ellington again with another reception that puts him over the 100 yard mark for today so first and ten play action for Shaw Shaw drops back Throws, rolls right, throws to the middle and hits Anderson. Anderson gets away from a defender. A great game for a play that broke down. So first and ten. The option, Shaw keeps. Shaw has a lane of running room, and if he would have broken it to the outside, he might have scored. Pistol formation, handoff for Wilds. Wilds cuts it back right, and Wilds gets another first down. Some hard running. Triple option here. Shaw keeps it, pitches it over to Davis. Davis trips up and gets three yards in the backfield. So third and goal, five wide set. Shaw over the middle, throws and hits Roland, who's not able to get in on the one-yard line. Coach Wilson lets to kick the field goal, tying the game up with 30 seconds left to go in this first half. 
So Robinette drops back the throw. 25 seconds left on the clock. Hit shoe on the right side and shoes taken out of bounds for an eight yard gain. That's going to be it for this halftime. 17 to 17, tied score. This defense is going to have to clamp up on this offense. I'll see you in the second half. And here's the beginning of the second half. Vanderbilt with the ball. Tied game, 17 17. Man in motion and tape with the handoff. Tape has been running very well this game. Closing in on 100 yards, and that's going to be a five-yard gain right there. Two tight end set. Tight end motion. Tate with a power run in. Tate's got some rooms again. Broken tackle. Tate is running super hard. Another 10-yard gain. First and 10. Tate all sets the left side. Robinette drops back. Rolls. Throws over to the right. And picked off by Holloman. TJ Holloman, the middle linebacker. Red shirt freshman making plays on the field. Weak set. Toss out to the right. And Wilds gets nine-yard gain. So on second and one, we got a shotgun set. Shaw drops about to throw. Throws over to the left. Hits Anderson, who gains a four yards and a first down. First and ten. Drops back. Hits Bruce Ellington over on the right side. Ellington's having a terrific game today. And an eight-yard gain. Third and three. Read option and just not able to get away from the defender and take him down. So on fourth and eight, this is our field goal position. So Coach Wilson elects to kick the field goal, or excuse me, go for it. And Ladley, Ladler is able to get the deflection. So Vanderbilt takes over, and Tate's still running hard. Six-yard gain. Two tight end set, strong guy formation. Tate gets through the defensive wall and gets five yards for a first down. Bunch set right, ace formation. Rob, Robinette drops back. Throws over the middle and hits Shoe once again for another first down. First and ten. Tate with the handoff. And Tate's going nowhere for a three-yard gain. Second and seven. Strong guy formation to the right. Seymour now with the handoff. And Seymour's pushing past this defense. Where is this Russian, off, er, Russian defense? This team came in, the Vanderbilt offense came in with the one of the lowest tiers of rushing yards and this defense with the highest tier of rush defense and they are just not performing. So on third and 11 after the four yards setback from Jadavion Clowney and Robinette is sacked on the play. Fourth and 18, field goal unit comes out for Vanderbilt. The kick is up. And it's in. That is a three-point lead over the number four South Carolina Gamecocks. 30 seconds left in this third quarter. Shaw drops back to throw. Throws over to Roland and gets 12 yards on the play. Manageable third and six. Five wide. Shaw drops back. Throws over to the right. Again, hits Roland. Roland bounces off a defender and gets a first down. And that's going to be it for the third quarter. That was a quick third quarter. And Vanderbilt is up. Three to no, three, or excuse me, Vanderbilt is up three for twenty to seventeen. Can they pull out the upset? Here we are with the fourth quarter of play. Second and eleven, pistol formation. Shaw with the play action, drops over to the left side, and Elgin just elevates over defender, pushes away one, and gets twenty-seven yards. First and ten, play action. Shaw tries to get the ball away, but is sacked on the play. Bunch set right, shotgun formation, Shaw throws over to the left. Nick Jones gets away from a defender. Again, another great catch on this drive. That's going to be it for a touchdown. South Carolina takes the lead. Tight end in motion, first and ten. Robinette with the options, taken down for a four-yard loss by Sutton. Second and 14. Robinette drops back with a five wide. Boyd gets the ball and 12-yard gain. So brings up third and short. Robinette to Tate. Who else is he going to give it to on short? And Tate's pushed away, broken down, and pushed out on fourth and inches. They punt the ball. So Wild takes the handoff and gets seven yards on the play. Wild, or excuse me, strong eye formation. Wilds with the pitch. Wilds tries to get away from a defender and gets just enough for a first down. 
Strong guy formation again. Three minutes left in the game. Shaw drops back the play action. Sully with the excuse me, Sally with the catch for a seven yard gain. Second and three, shotgun formation. Throws over to the left and didn't see Clark there. Clark gets a jump on the ball and gets the interception. Three minutes left to go in the game. Second and ten. This defense is starting to starting to hold tight. Second and ten with the show shoe with the catch and a five yard gain. Third and third and five. Manageable third and five. Ace formation, Robinette drops back, throws over to the left and just overthrows the receiver. Pressure coming, but they elect to go for it on fourth down with two minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. Robinette, deep throw back in the pocket, and Boyd with the reception, 13 yards and a first down. This defense couldn't give up that play at the worst time. So on first and 10, Shoe with the reception, 15 yards, making it second and goal. Shotgun formation, Tate offsets left side. Tate with the handoff and taken down immediately. So on fourth and goal, one shot for the end zone. Robinette drops back, throws over to the right and hits Grady in for the end zone. But wait a second, let's take another look at that play. As you see here, Grady with the reception. One toe down and then out of bounds. So he is going to have it for the score. And that's going to give Vanderbilt a three-point lead. As you see here, we are taking a look at the yards by half. So in first and ten, a minute, 20 seconds left on the clock. Shaw drops back to throw. Throws over to the left. Roland coming up big in this fourth quarter. 20 yards. Third and ten. Triple option. Shaw keeps it and Shaw gets up enough for the first down gain of 14. Pistol formation again. Play action to Sally. Shaw drops back. Throws over the right end of pressure. And Hal's going to pick it off. Looking for Bruce Ellington on the play. And that's going to be it, guys. So with a minute left, we're just looking for a fumble. Tate with the handoff left side and gets about a seven-yard gain. And that's going to be it. It's going to bring up 50 seconds left, and after the handoff and the first down, there's not going to be any room for, oh, excuse me, it was not first down, it was third and inches, and the defense just playing hard too late, and that's going to be it for the ball game. Vanderbilt wins, upsets number four, South Carolina, 27-24 at William Bryce Stadium. This is a heartache for the South Carolina Gamecocks. And I just can't even imagine how far they're going to drop in the ratings. We'll have to see next week. But let's take some looks at the highlights. Even though this was an upset, doesn't mean that nobody played well. And let's take some looks at these highlights. All right, let's take a look at the South Carolina stats for the players. Connor Shaw has a QB rating of 151, who is 19 of 29, 291 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. Could have given the ball back a couple of times, and that could have been costly, especially at the end. But two sacks were given up by the offensive line. Wilds had a decent day, 14 carries of 71 yards and one touchdown. He has an average of 5.0 yards per carry, and we're going to have to utilize him more and more as we go along. We might not be rushing enough as it is. Connor Shaw, 7 of 21, even though he did have the two sacks negating the yards given to him. Ellington, probably the player of the week for South Carolina. Eight catches, 160 yards, 20.0 average, and one touchdown. Roland was coming in towards the second half. Three catches, 43 yards. Anderson, always a good viable option. Three of 38. Nick Jones, the one big reception. Two catches, 41 yards, and one touchdown. And let's look at this defense. Legree and Holloman, both with seven tackles on the day. Williams 
and Clowney with five. And four players tied for the roundabouts. We have Hampton, Christian, Go Lightly, Sutton, Gurley, and K. Excuse me, five players. K. Juan Lewis. Let's look for tackles for a loss. Jadavion Conley with three. K. Juan Lewis with two. Christian, Legree, Go Lightly, Holloman, and Gurley all with one. We got two sacks, none with our defense alignment. But one with our nickelback Christian and also Go Lightly. Holloman and Lewis, both linebackers with an interception. Ellington again 168 yards returning. And he had that one big almost 80 yard return for a touchdown. Let's take a look at the stats of the game. South Carolina 18 first downs, 90 yards rushing, and 291 in the air. Possession 1424. Vanderbilt, 14 first downs, 140 yards rushing, and 209 passing. The Wesley Tate was able to get around through and pass the defense all day long, and our defense is going to have to clamp up both in the passing and running game, and I'm sure Coach Wilson will look to emphasize that in this upcoming weeks. Time to take a look at the players of the game for both sides. As you can see here up on the screen. Bruce Ellington, uh, 8 catches, 160 yards, 1 touchdown. K1 Lewis, 3 tackles, 2 for a loss, 1 sack, and 1 interception. Wesley Tate, as we were saying, 133 yards on the ground, 1 touchdown. And Andre Hall, 7 tackles, 2 for a loss, 1 sack, and the late interception to get the game Putting the dagger in South Carolina Gamecocks' ability to come back and open drive or at least tie it. So that was a very, very disappointing upset this week against Vanderbilt. One of the lowest tier teams in the SEC. Maybe Coach Wilson and the Gamecocks look past them for the next opponent. But next week we are coming up on the bye week. And after that we are traveling to Florida to take on Central Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Comment if you want to subscribe if you haven't. Leave your comments below as far as what you thought what could have been done differently. But I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you next week. Bye.